In this video, I'll show you how to use your phone as a remote for your Roku TV. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Using your phone as a remote for your Roku TV is super useful because you may have gone and lost your actual remote, or you may just want to go and have another remote on your phone. Let's do this. Firstly, what you'll need to do is go onto your phone. Here we are on my phone, and as you can see, I am using an iPhone, but that doesn't matter. This guide should work on most phones. Firstly, you need to go and open up your device's app store, whether that be the Play Store or whatever it is. Go and open it up. Then you go and tap on search and the app we need is called Roku. So type in Roku just like so. It should be pretty easy to find. And the one we want is the Roku app official. As you can see, it's made by Roku Inc as well. So go and tap on the download button like so and it should start downloading. Mine was a cloud because I've had it before just to go and test it out. It's now finished downloading, so I'm gonna go and open it up just like this. So when you first open it up, there's sort of like a short setup. It doesn't take too long though. So go and tap on continue like so, and you can skip a lot of this stuff here because I'm not that interested, but you can go and customize this to your liking. In this case, I'm just gonna go and continue as a guest. Um, I could go and log in though. Then what you need to do is come to the bottom of the app and go and tap on the remote option in the navigation bar. It will then say, please connect to a device, so tap on devices. Now, what we want to do is go and tap on connect now, and then we're gonna go and get an option to go and look for our local network because that's how it finds our TV. It'll then say searching for devices and it's now gone and found my device. Now, if it's struggling to go and find it, this is likely because you're on a different Wi-Fi network or maybe a different Wi-Fi booster. So make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as your TV is. You can always go into your settings to change that. So I'm now gonna go and tap on it like so. And then as you can see, I then have the option for remote apps on TV and media. I'll just go and tap on remote like so. And now what I can do is completely control my TV using my device. As you can see at the top, we've got the back button, the home button, we've then got okay and the arrow keys, the volume button, uh, the up and down button. And then at the bottom, we've got play and pause. And we can also go and pull up the keyboard as well. Yes, yeah, so there's literally anything you can do on the remote, you can do on your phone. It's that easy, guys. And of course, you can go and use your remote as well. And you can always use the power button at the top right as well to go and turn it off. So if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.